this video. We are going to prepare toluene and take a look at aromatic sulfonation and desulfonation reactions. Sulfonates are an important class of organic compounds, containing the RSO3H group. If you look closely, you can see that the sulfonate is a derivative of sulfuric acid. Let's first take a look how sulfonates are prepared in general. In this example, toluene, otherwise known as methylbenzene, is heated in oleum. Oleum is sulfuric acid with free sulfur trioxide dissolved in it. In an equilibrium reaction, the hydrogen atom in para position on the benzene ring is substituted with the sulfonate group. We now take a closer look at how this reaction works. First of all, here is a structure of sulfur trioxide itself. As you can see, there are several resonance forms where the sulfur atom has a partial positive and one of the oxygen atoms a partial negative charge. This is the species which is electrophilic enough to directly attack the benzene ring. So here is the mechanism for this reaction. First, the nucleophilic benzene is attacked by one of the resonance forms of sulfur trioxide. In an equilibrium reaction, the so-called sigma complex is formed where the oxygen atom in the sulfonate group has a negative charge and the benzene ring has a positive, delocalized charge. In the acidic environment, this oxygen atom is quickly protonated. In the last step, the aromatic system is restored by abstracting the para hydrogen on the benzene ring. Okay, so the question of course is, can we go back? The sulfonation reaction itself practically goes to completion, because the reversed reaction is very slow at the reaction temperatures. However, if we managed to remove free sulfur trioxide from the equilibrium, we can completely shift the reaction towards the educts. This can easily be achieved by heating the sulfonate in aqueous sulfuric acid. This is the reason why sulfonates are popular as so-called protective groups. By sulfonating your aromatic ring, you can block certain positions from reacting, because the sulfonate group is already there. In our case, toluene can easily be obtained from para-toluene sulfonic acid. Of course toluene is very cheap, but the toluene thus obtained is very pure since the toluene sulfonic acid can easily be purified by recrystallization. Let's get started. Here is some para-toluene sulfonic acid. It is a white, slightly lumpy solid. As you might expect, it is a strong acid. To show this, we dissolve some of it in a little water. The thus obtained solution is strongly acid. Now for our reaction setup. We chose to do this small scale because at least for us, the p-toluene sulfonic acid is more useful than toluene. However, if you want toluene, you can of course scale this up. In our case, we went with a 50 milliliter round bottom flask equipped with a magnetic stir bar. To this, we added in 25 milliliters of distilled water, followed by 2.5 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid while stirring. <laughs> While this was mixing, we measured out 3 grams of p-toluene sulfonic acid monohydrate. This was then added to the round bottom flask containing the aqueous sulfuric acid.
we then set up a reflux condenser to reflux any escaping toluene vapor. We could of course also distill it out as an aseotrope with water. The mixture is then heated using a water bath. Soon, the mixture started to reflux. After about one hour, the heat was turned down and we allowed the flask to cool down. As you can see, there is a distinct layer on top of the water sulfuric acid mix. This is our toluene. It is reasonably pure so it smells better than most commercially available toluene. Thanks for watching. But don't go away yet. First of all, we hope that you all noticed that we tried to explain more of the chemistry in detail and to show more of the actual lab work. Our question is if you want to see us for example explaining reaction mechanisms and diving a little bit deeper into the actual chemistry. So please let us know in the comment section. And now for the authentic lab atmosphere sound effect, or the question how hard it is to put a stirred bar into a flask.